When I had the stroke, it was a Saturday afternoon, and I went to the opticians. I didn't know I'd had a stroke, and the optician said to me, you need to go to the hospital now. So she said, I've rung the hospital, they're expecting you. So I went to Southport Hospital, and they sat me down, and then just left me. And then I had another stroke in the hospital. Um, my wife down 999 extremely quickly. I was in hospital within perhaps half an hour of having my stroke. Yes. Which was quite quick. With me having my stroke on the on the, like a bank holiday, I didn't start any any therapies until I think it was I think it was the third or the fourth when I everyone got back to normal after the, the Christmas break. Um so really it, it would have helped me more if I could have started my physios and that no straight away. But then again, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't move and stand up anyway. So, but they've, they've, but they've changed it around the hospital now. There's, there's, uh, there's staff there, twenty four seven now. So, so it's much better. Um, the treatment and the support was abysmal. Um, I think there's been a lot of alterations at the hospital, which have made huge improvements. But. Um, Fortunately for me, my wife is a nurse, and that's helped me extensively. And then later on I found that there was a treatment that could have been given to me, but this hospital didn't provide this treatment out of hours on a Saturday, is it out of hours? In the hospital, it was excellent, the care. Um, I think you should be able to, I know it's limited, um, funds, but I think you should have more physiotherapy than what I did, definitely, because um, only one session a day isn't enough, but it wasn't for me. The, the, the physio and that starting straight away, that, that was the only thing, that was the only thing really. And, I, and when I was in, you didn't get any physio for weekends, which I thought, I, I think's a bit, bit tough, because the weekend just seems to drag on forever. I could have had a bit more physio, I think. Because, I mean, it took me five years to get this arm moving again. Just, um, I had the physiotherapist for six weeks and then another, a year later, another six weeks, and that's all I've had. I've had to, uh, had to pay for it myself. I still could do with some physiotherapy on my arm, some, somebody to encourage me more to use it because I believe if you'd got more physiotherapy, I would have had this arm perfect. I mean, we did have some physiotherapy and we did have some occupational therapy, but it was for a fairly short duration. So um, Bob was told he might never walk again and I think you know, we were determined he would, but we ended up having to pay for two years for private physiotherapy because it was very limited. I mean, in all fairness, they did get him walking of a fashion before he was discharged, but he couldn't walk alone. I had to be no. with him all the time. And I, I would say within three months of coming home, there was nothing. They withdrew me physio after six weeks. I'm now pray, paying privately for physio, which can't be right. I mean, that's what the National Health Service is for, isn't it? Speech isn't very good. And um, so I, I was lucky to have the um, five weeks of um, intensive sort of one-to-one -one person with the Stroke Association. Um, I had a s series of speech therapy. By the time half an hour had gone, I was wiped out and they were that mess that missed wasted half an hour for for my time and me more more importantly the speech therapist's time we totally under underestimated the 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 immense psych, psychological damage that is done it's in need a much um more you need more care long term. It's the care once you get out. Then first six weeks is nothing. I mean I was lucky my wife got given as much time off work as she needed. 
So I was lucky that way that she was there permanent. Other people don't get that. Following my stroke, there were two people who were very important to me. One was the stroke unit counsellor and the other was an advocate from Age UK. And between them, they helped me to adjust to my situation, manage my affairs, pick the pieces up, if you like, stuck them back together and, and enabled me to carry on with some sort of a life. Yeah, the support was really good. Um, Kate from the Stroke Association, she was around within within a few days. Then the OTs followed her over um, and everything was put in place then within, within the next week or so. So it was, it was, it was, it was fine, it was really good. It's hard, if I'm honest, because as a stroke survivor, you're it, obviously everything's all new to you, but um, the Stroke Association are there for you to help you and guide you as much as possible. Uh, and to be absolutely honest, if it hadn't been for this group, the Stroke Association, I don't know what I'd do. Really helped up here. Yeah. Between this and the physio, maybe I'll get better. Everyone could do it more support. You know, but I'm lucky that I've got this this group and I've got my family support and I've got friends that will help me. There's a lot of people in here that live on their own, so the only support they get is us. And they know that we're in the same boat and they have a good time, good laugh. We make sure they're all right and it helps them, helps them out a hell of a lot.